This is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. So what's going on with Sagittarius? This could also be for cross watcher energy. Hmm. Okay, Sagittarius, what do you guys need to know right now? Someone's keeping to themselves here with the Hermit energy, Virgo, Two of Cups, okay. You might, someone might be like newly single here or going their own way. The Two of Cups reversed, Two of Swords, someone could be conflicted, maybe they're in a relationship, they want to go their own way, it could be a Virgo, and the Star reverse. So they're kind of feeling, I feel like they feel like their hands are tied here. Uh, Aquarius energy, they feel sort of hopeless. Um, they feel maybe like they've been alone for too long and they want a partnership. They don't know which way to go. They don't know how they're going to manifest this here. Okay, you guys could have Virgo in your chart. There's a mental conflict about something. Yeah, you might feel like you have a lot of options. Maybe you don't like any of them. Could definitely be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy here. I feel like... There's something to be learned from this situation you're in. So don't necessarily feel like things aren't the way they should be. Things could be exactly the way they're supposed to be. And there's something that you're learning. You're like spiritually learning from this situation that you're in between the Vir between the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles. I actually think this is a, a time to kind of just allow whatever situation you're in to uh, teach you rather than to feel frustrated by it. Okay. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Three of Cups, and the Magician. Okay. I'm just getting this feeling like there could be someone in like a social circle or some sort of uh, people that you're surrounded by that um, you could be very drawn to. Like um, you could feel this emotional connection with them. This is Gemini, Virgo. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or this could be someone you end up connecting with through some sort of party, some sort of celebration, through someone that you know. But this person's going to kind of revive you. This person's going to speak the language of your soul, I'm hearing. So don't feel like it's over, okay? Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Just when you thought it, could, it was the end, I feel like something magical is really going to happen for you. I also feel like you've been manifesting maybe like a water sign. Could be um, an earth sign as well. But um, you guys have been really tuned in to your intuition, what it is that you really want. I feel like you're in a you're in a decent place here, even with the two of cups reversed, okay? Maybe now is just not the time to have anyone else clouding what you're trying to manifest here. Maybe a partner would kind of be getting in the way or another person in your life would kind of be getting in the way of this solo time that you need here that's what i'm getting all right so let's get some more energies about what's going on i was gonna say with my virgos because you guys had so many virgo cards come up here let's see some themes that are happening for you guys hmm. that song could mean something to you don't dream it's over it could also be that someone from your past is like dreaming of you and you guys are gonna reconnect here sagittarius okay but I feel like you guys are in a really independent space and maybe this is a space you've needed to be in for a while. You see different pages. It's not necessarily a bad thing though. You and this person don't share the same vision. Okay, I feel like you really are fine tuning what it is that you want and maybe this person was something you thought you wanted. Leap of faith, true love. You're gonna have to take a leap of mastery. See, you've learned this spiritual lesson. There's been a lot of lessons for you. And as long as you stay humble and you stay receptive to these lessons, I feel like you're moving on to the next phase of your life, okay? But this is gonna require some risk taking, all right? This is gonna be require some letting go of the old, letting go of things that are no longer resonating with you, okay? And knowing that, your true love really is yourself. It is you fine-tuning what resonates with you. And it's allowing yourself to admit to yourself when you're not on the same page with someone here. You see? Surrender and release. 
it might even be this battle within yourself of like, I just want to prove that I was right or something like that, but that's not going to really help you get to what you really want. Okay. And I think you've maybe learned a lot more and you've mastered this a lot more than you think you have. I just feel like now, right now is a time for you guys to really nurture yourself between the healing and the queen of cups to have fun and to not worry so much. Like maybe you've just been so caught up in spiritual lessons now could just be the time to let that go allow yourself to experience life and not take things so seriously not feel like you have to be learning these hard lessons or making these hard decisions okay um it's really i feel you're in a time right now where you're really getting to know getting to know you getting to know yourself in a, a really gentle way that you haven't before you're being really kind to yourself you're being really loving to yourself Sagittarius and that's going to bring in your true love okay all right we have expansion here and we have the playfulness with the children so some of you guys could be wanting kids or even connecting to your inner child it was always you and I there was never anyone else that mattered in our world just you and I and one day it all changed our love created a life that demonstrated so beautifully how two people can extend that love but I feel that's also saying like this dynamic you were in, this two of cups, it wasn't just for you guys to be together. It was for your expansion. It was for you to move to the next spiritual level. So it wasn't for nothing, okay? It was really helping you learn here. Yeah, because I do feel like you maybe feel like you were ripped apart. I've never known the kind of love that could break me open to such depth of emotion, passion, and feelings until you came into my life knowing we belong. You see, I, this person really ripped you open, but... I know it's so cliche, but it like it really helped you realize who you are and what it is you want and to stand in your truths. OK, I never gave up. I want you to know that even on the most difficult of days of missing you, I never gave up on us. I always knew there would be a day we'd find our way back to each other. And that's what I'm saying too, guys. You never know when something is really over. OK, you can stay believing in someone, but you still have to continue to live your life to make moves to go out of your comfort zone because you need to expand yourself in the meantime you can't just stay stagnant waiting for someone here sorry guys all right let's get some messages from your person that candle always makes my nose do that all right this is from hidden truth volume one and volume two I hope I will see you again sometime. You see, guys, I do feel there is a connection here. I just feel like you had to go your own ways. I left you before you could leave me, okay? So someone has to work out some abandonment issues here. They just, I feel like someone could here could have just really felt this was coming to an end in their soul. Maybe not even consciously, but they knew they had to release this in a way that was right for them in order for them to be able to walk away. I forgive you. Okay, so if there was any hard feelings here, there is forgiveness, there's love, okay? There is a desire to reconnect at some point. I wish I could share my good news with you. I want to be more than friends. And I am becoming a better person. I definitely feel the separation, I hope you're happy for me, is um, helping you gain clarity of who you are and what you want. And if you guys did revisit your dynamic, I feel like, you would be able to operate in a clear uh, more i just this this energy lately i feel like we need to let go of the past the past stories whatever it was it's time to just let that go and stop even defining others by who they were okay okay i did get some deception here when the smoke clears the truth will be revealed that is a big turnaround in this reading so someone could have felt deceived there is forgiveness here though um, someone could have felt like what they thought things were, they weren't, okay? And it's kind of a judgment in a way when we have that mentality because maybe they were what they were, but then they changed, okay? Things are constantly changing, full bloom. Love takes time to develop. It doesn't happen overnight. If nurtured, that love can grow into something beautiful, I feel like this situation is helping you bloom into your full self. This is also spring energy, which we're in right now. So I feel like this is a time of letting that go. Oh my God, you guys, look what I just pulled. Springtime, March, April, May, Pisces, Aries. This is definitely a time for you guys right now to be blooming, to be coming into your own. 
Um, I just want to get one card on that deception. What, what do we need to know about that deception? Just one card here. I think it's just if someone deceived you and hurt you by continuously replaying that story, you're only hurting yourself, okay? Three of Wands. Um, I feel like someone felt, I'll pull one more, that someone had other, the moon, yeah, wow, okay, so, um, someone felt like someone had secrets, they were planning a getaway, they were planning on something in the future that didn't involve this person, but it, if someone had to do that, just know that that's, that's their story, you're still entitled to your own story, okay, so, just because someone had other plans, your soul also had other plans. So stop focusing on them. Focus on what them releasing did for you, okay? And trust that you have your own divine path. And whatever their agenda is, that's not your problem. Your problem is your agenda and what you're doing. And you're worthy of focusing on your own self, okay? Pisces energy here. If someone deceived you, if someone wasn't honest with you, and that's a value of yours, then you just know for next time, that's not going to work. You probably saw the red flag, so you might be beating yourself up. This I forgive you could be forgiving yourself for knowing this person was capable of kind of being shady, and you still allowed them to continuously do that to you because you gave them the benefit of the doubt. That's a lesson now you'll have for next time. You realize that you learned your spiritual lesson. You learned that you don't you don't dismiss red flags. When someone shows you who they are, that they're capable of that, you immediately take that knowledge and make decisions from that point. You don't wait again till they continuously deceive you and hurt you, okay? That's just the message that's coming through. And I understand that, so that's why I'm getting very passionate about it. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this reading resonates with you guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.